Hello everyone, Ryan Messick with you here in Newark, Delaware, where the 87ers were hosting the Reno Bighorns today. Reno coming in with the number one offense in the league and the last place defense. Their game's averaging more than 275 total points, and this one would not disappoint. We'll pick the action up in a minute, but a lot on the line on this one as we go to the highlights. And I'm not just talking about the basketball. Caesar the Fox fired up. The sevens in the huddle. Ready? Proposal on three. One, two, three. This courageous young man ris risking embarrassing YouTube infamy, but fortunately it goes his way, and she says yes. So now on to the basketball. David Stockton, the son of John Stockton, getting underneath the reverse layup goes for Stockton, who had 15 points and four assists. Meanwhile, Vic Rudd, a wide open lane, he throws it down. Just feel sorry for the rim, that had to hurt. Meanwhile, Tawan Porter gonna get things going from the outside for the Bighorn. Six of 10 from long range, that was one of them for Porter as it pulls Reno within four in the first quarter. Then David Ware with a finger roll. He had 17 points on the evening. More from Porter though, this time inside the arc. He was 14 of 21 from the field, spins that one around and gets it to go. Then Rashad James with a little fall away jumper in the lane creating some space. He had 23 points by the time it was all said and done, but James got the high flying act going as well with a slam. That extending a, a Reno lead in the second quarter. Then Tawan Porter, he's five foot seven. Small man, big thorn in the side of the 87ers though. 35 points, a season high for Porter. But Sean Kilpatrick had a big game for the sevens as well. The follow in the tip slam for Kilpatrick. Those were two of his 27 points, also seven assists and gets this three to go, the bounce off the glass and in for Kilpatrick. Meanwhile, an alley-oop for Reno from Jordan Hamilton to Sim Buller, who makes it look easy, kind of is. He's seven foot five, barely has to jump to throw down the alley-oop, a little jealous of that one. Malik Waynes with a jumper, two of his eight points, but also 11 assists for Waynes. Then DJ Seeley late in the game, working on a sevens lead, tough shot, counted, and the foul. Seeley would make the free throw and score 28. Vic Rudd from the outside, that's a dagger, puts Delaware up by eight. Rudd had 27 points and 12 boards, and the sevens hold on to beat the Bighorns 145-138.